does it matter in what circumstances Carrie Johnson left working for the Conservative Party? Um, I'm presuming if what Ashcroft says in the books is wrong, she'll be suing him. Um, for saying these things because they're quite serious allegations that she was she was kind of living high on the hog on Tory expenses. And if that is the case, presumably she'll sue. Uh, I'm guessing There's not. There's been no threat of that. I'm, I'm guessing not, though. Um, and, and I would think those things are quite easily proved anyway, the, the circumstances under which she left. However, I don't even care what she did back then. I think what I care about is what she's doing now. Um, and I, I think I care about the influence an unelected person appears to be having uh, on this government. We know for a fact, and it's indisputable, that she brought in um, some of her friends. She mm. brought them into positions in Downing Street. They were pushing um, an agenda. It was, it was, you know, it was the um, a liberal agenda, a green, a green agenda. It's that's not what Boris won his eighty seat majority on. Uh, and I think if he needs, if he wants to get his popularity back, he needs to go back to the Tory policies on, 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 and, and the measures that got him elected in the first place. Benjamin, a lot of people close to Carrie Johnson like to wheel out this line that this is all sexism. Well, look, I think if she wasn't clearly having some influence over the prime minister in the the, the uh, direction of the country, then it would be sexism. And sexism is definitely a part of, of some of the coverage she gets. But actually, it's clear from so many reports, including Lord Ashcroft's, and this is not a man that needs to make stuff up. He, you know, he's already a billionaire, for goodness sake, uh, that she clearly is having some influence. And so I think anyone that is swaying the country that all of us live in, it's reasonable to hold them to account.